Summary of Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Wade thinks back to the time he learned that James Halliday, the creator of the Oasis game, had died. A short film called Anorak's Invitation was shown during the normal TV show. In it, Halliday reads the highlights of his will. In Oasis, he changes into his character Anorak and says that he's placed an Easter egg in the world. The first person to find it will get all of his money and property. He says the first hint about where the Easter egg is and then asks himself out loud if he's made the hunt too hard. The video stops when he says that the hunt has begun. A community starts to form soon after. Gunters are the people who go on the hunt. Some gunters always say they are close to making a breakthrough, but after years of looking for nothing, most people give up on the activity. In 2045, Wade suddenly shows up on the scoreboard. He is 18 years old and lives in a trailer park on the edges of Oklahoma City. The next part of the story will be told by him. Wade hears gunshots when he wakes up. He stays in his Aunt Alice's trailer with 15 other people when it gets cold. Wade's folks were both forced to leave their homes. He lost his father when he broke into a food store during a blackout and stole things. Loretta was his mother, and she worked as a sex worker and Oasis salesperson. She also used drugs. The narrator says she died when she was 11 from shooting up a bad batch of something. Multiple level stacks of trailer parks like the one Wade lives in have been popping up around towns ever since the energy crisis forced people to move there. Wade's hideout is an empty car where he stores his things, goes to school, and plays the Oasis. Wade's Oasis character is named Perzival, but he has to use his real name at school. He doesn't want to graduate because he doesn't have enough money to go to college. Instead, he has to become a full-time gunter. He moved to an Oasis school on the planet Ludus, where all Oasis schools are based, when he was in the sixth grade. A company called Innovative Online Industries has hired skilled oologists, egg hunters, with the name Sixers to find the Easter egg for the company. The IOI wants to take over the Oasis and boldly make money off of it by charging users a fee every month. Wade tells anyone who will listen that he has a massive cyber crush on Gunter Art 3 Miz and reads her blog. He sends each an instant message, and the two of them agree to meet in the basement, each's chat room. Wade, each, and an avatar named IR0K play knowledge games with each other. It looks like a Rubik's Cube and has 27 cube-shaped sections. It costs a lot of money and takes 10 hours to travel at the speed of light across one section. Avatars can get experience points, XPs, by fighting NPC bad guys and finishing quests. But Ludus doesn't have any of these. Wade has only been able to get his avatar to the third level by taking short trips to other planets and getting XP there. However, until they reach the 10th level, no gunter is considered serious. Wade likes Advanced Oasis studies the most because he already knows a lot about Halliday and finds it easy. He says Halliday was a very strange mind who loved the 1980s, video games, and sci-fi and fantasy. It's likely that he had autism. Halliday and his friend Ogden Morrow started the company Gregarious Games. In 2012, it changed its name to Gregarious Simulation Systems GSS, and launched its only product, the ontologically anthropocentric sensory immersive simulation Oasis. The Oasis became the place where people spent most of their time as poverty, famine, and chaos got worse on Earth. Wade makes a big discovery in Latin class one day about what the limerick means. It's the first clue in the hunt, and it makes him think that the copper key might be hidden on Ludus. He can't believe the Tomb of Horrors is only 70 kilometers away from his school, but he gets there by claiming to be going to a football game at school. Everything goes well until he meets Asurak, the Demilich, who challenges him to a joust. Asurak changes into Halliday's avatar, Anorak, to give Wade his prize, the Copper Key. Wade beats him. Wade also gets 50,000 XP, which makes his character level 10. Wade's next task is to go to Halliday's recreation of the house he grew up in Middletown, Ohio. As Wade leaves the Tomb of Horrors, he sees Art 3 Miz, who has failed to beat Asurak. 
Wade tells a lie and says Asurak also hit him. When Art 3 Miz finds out he's lying, he gets very angry at first, but they end up being friends afterward. Halliday's youth bedroom is where Wade finds the first gate, a doorway to deep space. He jumps through and falls in an old video arcade. He quickly figures out that he is in a simulation of the 1983 movie War Games. In the movie, he has been changed into Matthew Broderick's character and has to remember how to play the part properly. The scoreboard updates to show that he has now finished the first gate when he safely makes it to the end of the movie. Wade is, however, very tired. He takes off his helmet and sleeps for 12 hours in his hiding place. When Wade wakes up, he sees that Art 3 Miz has also passed through the first gate. Moro is on the news for the first time in years for an interview. No one knows why Halliday and Moro broke up so many years ago. Wade gets donations from businesses that pay him in X piece. Nolan Sorrento, who is the head of operations at IOI, sends him an email offering to hire him as a sixer. Wade talks to Sorrento through Chatlink, a tool for contact that lets him hologramically go to the IOI headquarters. Sorrento tells Wade about the complicated method the Sixers have set up to find the egg and offers Wade the job of chief oologist. Sorrento offers Wade $5 million right then and there if he can show him how to get through the first gate, but Wade again turns down the offer. Finally, Sorrento says that he knows who Wade really is and that he has set off explosives in Aunt Alice's trailer. He tells Wade he will kill him, but Wade says no and logs off of the oasis. While he is still in hiding, he hears a blast nearby. That night, Wade meets with Art 3 Miz, Ich, Dado, and Shoto in a secret chat room in the basement. They are the top four avatars on the Oasis scoreboard. Ich suggests that they work together, but Dado and Shoto say no and leave right away. A lot of Sixers will go through the first gate over the next few days. Wade buys himself a bus ticket to Columbus with his first advertising check. While on the trip, Wade goes into the Oasis and gets a new name, Bryce Lynch. When he gets to his new Columbus room, he swears he won't leave until he finds the egg. A chat with Art 3 Miz shows that Wade has a crush on her. She agrees to tell him a few things about herself, but she logs off and tells him they can't talk again until one of them finds the egg. She replies to Wade's texts, though, and the two of them start hanging out. Wade wraps up high school and works on leveling up his image to 99, which is the highest level possible. It dawns on him one day that the most recent hint, the quatrain, has something to do with Captain Crunch cereal. After that, he and Art 3 Ms. Kiss for the first time. Wade is invited to Moro's 73rd birthday party at the Distracted Globe, a dance club with no gravity. While they are dancing together, he tells Art 3 Ms. that he loves her. Art 3 Miz tells him to go away and stresses that they don't really know each other and that their friendship has made them forget about the hunt. Sixers start shooting up the club all of a sudden. Moro kills them, the party starts up again, but Art 3 Miz leaves. Wade sets up shop on an asteroid in Sector 14 that he bought and named Falco. Eight weeks have passed since the last time he talked to Art 3 Miz. He has lived in Columbus for five months. Even though he is no longer friends with each, he is now friends with Dato and Shoto. He has also been able to get a job doing low-level Oasis technical help by using a fake name. At the end of a shift one day, he found out that Art 3 Miz had the Jade Key. Now that the Sixers have Fendoro's tablet of finding, they have something that will help them with the hunt. Wade takes the Vonnegut, his starship, to Archade, a world with a museum of old arcade games. To his surprise, Wade finds a copy of Halliday's favorite pizza place from childhood, Happy Time Pizza. Wade figures out that the Pac-Man machine inside has another Easter egg hidden in it. He sees that each has passed him on the scoreboard, though, while he is still playing. Right at that time, Wade gets a message from each with a clue that leads him to the Jade Key, which is on a nearby planet called Frobaz. He also beats the old Pac-Man record. Wade is able to find the key and just barely escapes running into a group of Sixers. The fights that happen between gunmen and Sixers are called the Battle of Frobaz. 
During the fight, Shoto finds the key, but Dato is killed almost at the same time. Sorrento gets past the second gate and is now in first place on the leaderboard. Wade is scared as he sees dozens of Sixers find the crystal key. Shoto goes to see Wade and tells him that Dato's image isn't the only one who has died. The Sixers said Dato killed himself, which was not true. Wade makes another big discovery when he realizes that the next gate has something to do with the 1982 movie Blade Runner. He takes the Vonnegut to a world called Axronox and goes inside one of the many copies of the Tyrell building that are in the Oasis. With the Jade Key, he gets into a bowling alley and finds a copy of an old computer game called Black Tiger. Hearing the tip about where the Crystal Key is in the words of a Rush song is very exciting for him. He goes to the planet Syrinx, which is empty, and goes into the temple of the Syrinx. Wade understands that he needs to play a song on the guitar. When he's done, the guitar changes into the crystal key. For Wade, the third gate must be hidden in Castle Anorak on the planet Thonia, which he calls the Gunter's Mecca. There is already an army of Sixers and a huge number of Gunners. The hunt seems to be almost over to everyone. Wade tells Art 3 Miz each and Shoto how to find the crystal key in an email. He says he will find the third gate or die trying. IOI cops show up at Wade's apartment in Columbus to arrest him for not paying his visa card bill on time. Just as the cops break into Wade's apartment, he goes into the Oasis and tells his computer to destroy itself. He will be given a loan at 101 IOI Plaza, where they take him. He is given the job of Oasis Technical Support Representative 2 and has to sign a bond to get the job. Wade works hard during the day, but at night he plans to sneak into the Sixers database and destroy the wall they built over Anorak's castle. He finds out that the Sixers are going to kill Art 3 Miz and Shoto when they find the egg after hacking into the database. He quickly gets information from the Sixer database and pays off his own loan. He gets out of the IOI jail by wearing a uniform that he bought on the black market for a maintenance tech. Wade gets a gun and new clothes. Then he goes to the plug, a place that is not owned by IOI but where he can log into the Oasis without anyone else seeing him. Wade emails all the major news networks once he is logged in to show proof that IOI killed Dato, tried to kill Wade, and planned to kill Art 3 Miz and each. Then he goes to the basement and logs in. Each, Art 3 Miz, and Shoto are already there for him. They figure out together that Halliday planned the hunt so that at the third gate, three characters would have to face each other. Wade shows the other guys an email that he is going to send to all the gunners, telling them to work together to beat the Sixers. All of a sudden, OG shows up and offers to help. He tells them that he told Halliday that he would protect the hunt and invites each AR-3 Miz, Shoto, and Wade to stay at his house in Oregon during the war. Wade meets each in real life for the first time on the way to Oregon. He learns that she is an African-American teen woman whose real name is Helen. The teen goes into the oasis at Moro's house, where all the avatars are going to Castle Anorak. There is where the Gunter Sixer fight takes place. Shoto's character is dead, and Wade's is badly hurt. He keeps going, though, and kills Sorrento's image. At the third gate, he meets each and Art 3 Miz. But just as they are about to go through, there is a huge blast that kills all of their avatars. Wade thinks he is about to see game over, but then he finds out he has an extra life. His images of each and Art 3 Miz are still dead, but he can still hear them talking to him. Tempest is another old video game that Wade has to play while the whole world watches. He finally gets the best score and is quickly sucked into the movie Monty Python and the Holy Grail, which he then acts out with great joy. After that, Wade shows up in a fake version of Halliday's office and figures out that this is where the Easter egg must be kept. He finally gets into Halliday's computer and gets the egg after several failed attempts. He is now in charge of Oasis, Halliday tells him, and his character can live forever. He also tells him that he can have anything he wants. Wade kills the last few Sixers and brings Art 3 Miz, Each, and Shoto back to life. Wade logs out of the Oasis and finds Art 3 Miz. 
Art 3 Miz tells Wade that her real name is Samantha. He tells her again that he loves her, and they kiss. About the author. Ernest Klein lived on a farm in Ohio as a child. He loved science fiction books and movies like Star Wars when he was a kid. He also became obsessed with 1980s pop culture as he got older. He took part in poem slams and wrote several scripts for movies when he was in his early 20s. One of his scripts, Fanboys, was made into a movie in 2009, but Klein wasn't happy with how it turned out. He felt bad that his first script had been changed so much. He wanted to have more control over the final result by writing a movie based on his own book. This led to Klein's first book, Ready Player One, which was sold at auction in 2010. When the book came out, it was an instant hit. It was later made into a movie in 2018 by Steven Spielberg, with a story by Klein. Armada, Klein's second science fiction book, came out in 2015, and he is now working on a follow-up to Ready Player One. He lived with his wife, Kristen O'Keefe Aptowicz in Austin. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.